Over a period of last 17 years, I have observed one unique thing about the biotech industry and bio professionals in particular, and that is successful education may not translate into a successful career, even though education is the foundation of success. Still, it may not translate into success. There are multiple other factors also which a bio professional must keep in mind before jumping into the industry or academia. Now, why do I say that? Let me elaborate point by point. But first things first, education is important. The degree with whatever you are pursuing, bachelor's or master's, it's important. Whatever you, whatever you are learning, theoretical knowledge also, okay, that's also important. Because without theoretical knowledge, practical knowledge you cannot gain. But when you, you know, when you want to jump from the educational treadmill to the job treadmill or the, you know, industry, you have to learn some techniques which will not be taught in your college or class ever in your life. Now, where it all gets stuck is most of us think that, okay, I have paid the fees, so the college is responsible to teach me. And after uh, I have gained the education, I should be employable. But that is where the biggest myth lies. Your education does not guarantee you employment. Okay, but at the same time, it is the foundation. Now, let's look at what other things you will require to become successful into the biotech and pharma industry. What is the foundation? What is the real requirement of your success? Now, as soon as, so uh, this is a, you know, a common trend and tradition. I'm sure your seniors or as well as your professors must have told you that when you were in plus two, somebody said do biotech. So you got into BSc biotech or BTech biotech. Now, when you were finishing your B.Tech, somebody said, do your master's. So you did your master's. Now, after uh, by the time you were almost finishing your master's, somebody said, uh, you know, you should do a PhD. So you jumped into the PhD without even thinking why. Right. And what if I don't want to do what other things I'll need to, you know, secure a golden future, a bright future into the industry. So that we are going to highlight in this video. Now, first things first here. Whatever I'm going to say is practical things. You have to remember that education is a service. Your college must have delivered the service del uh, diligently, but that is not translating now into success. Now, one of the best ways, okay, one of the best ways to succeed in the biotech industry is to network. Now, nobody teaches you that, right? Nobody tells you, but one thing must have happened to you when you applied for a job, they will ask for references, right? What is that? Because they don't want a stranger to work in their company. They want someone whom they know or somebody who they know has referred you. So it will be easier for them to work with you. Now, what's exactly that? That's called networking. Now, at the same time, uh, many students will say or many uh, seniors of yours will say, go and write entrance exam. If you qualify, your life is set. That's not truth. You see, you qualify the CSIR and exam, you will get 37,000 fellowship. For the next five years, you will get around 25 lakhs fellowship which is good number, which is good to sustain you while you finish your PhD. But after your PhD, again, you are back to square one. Again, you have to listen to me only. All, all others will vanish on YouTube. All others will say, okay, now you are on your own, but I'll be right here to guide you. So listen to me for the next five minutes and you will uh, know what exactly needs to be done. Now, so first things I told you is networking. Now, the second thing is exposing yourself to something which challenges your brain. Okay, now that means attending some events, workshops, or reading some research papers, or conferences, or reading some articles, which is beyond your comprehension limit. For example, if your interest is in CRISPR, read more CRISPR research papers, attend more CRISPR workshops, listen to some more global experts, okay, who are doing research in CRISPR, and then uh, try to assimilate. So when your mind gets challenged, you get more interested. And when you get more interested, you try to deep dive into this particular field. And then you when you come out, you become a golden uh, professional, not just a regular professional. Okay, so that's a second point. The first point I said is networking. The second point is challenge yourself from with something which is uncomfortable. Now, the third thing which I have for you is do more and more internships, as many internships as possible. Now, what problem you will face for the internship is you'll have to physically go somewhere and do it or you'll have to you will apply several places and you will get rejected even that will happen. So but the challenge here is to do more internships in less time. That's also very important. So if you expose yourself to more such 
internship, understand how the industry works, what exactly is happening in the, in the industry, and then assimilate all those qualities in yourself. And internship is the best way you are going to get there. So I will suggest every bachelor's as well as master's should do a minimum of one and a maximum of, I think, five to six internship in their entire career of five years. That is bachelor's as well as master's. Now, the next thing which uh, I highly recommend is mentors. You know, in today's world, mentoring is very important because there are things which are not taught in our college. There are things, uh, the way industry works. For example, when I started my career in biotech industry, there used to be a Bangalore group and there used to be a Hyderabad group. So, and both were at, you know, clashes against each other. So, I had to choose whether I go with the set of companies in Bangalore or I go with the set of companies in Hyderabad. So, if I go with the Hyderabad, the Bangalore companies will never talk to me. And if the uh, if I go for Bangalore, Hyderabad companies will never talk to me. That was the situation when I started my career. But today it has all gone. There's no such groups. But yeah, so this, this is where my mentor came in and helped me and said, you need not align with any of them. You just do you, what you want to do and they all will come to you. And eventually that is what happened. So I just developed more relationships, did more networking. Now, this is something which nobody will tells you. Nobody tells you, but... This used to happen and this similar things or untold things happen in the industry. Now, that is where you need to have a mentor who can guide you, who can show you the right path, who can coach you, who can tell you where you go wrong and he can be very blunt. He can be very rude. So that's where and he should be somebody who has already done things in your industry. And that is where, uh, you know, mentor comes into picture. Now, the next point which I have for you is having at least three recommendation letters from top scientists in your domain. And how do you get that? One of the ways is you have to work under that scientist and impress them and then you get the recommendation letter. And also have three industry references, somebody who is working in the industry and who knows you and he can refer you into his organization or someone somewhere else. Very, very, very important. Okay. And it can be your existing boss also, one of the references. So this is important. Next point is CV and uh, uh, cover letter and resume designing. So I, I'll, I'll give you an example. So a girl applied to me. Okay. She attached her CV to the email and she wrote, uh, Mujhe job ki chahat hai. So basically she wanted a job. And she wrote that in Hindi. Now, do you think I'll ever give a job to her? No, because she's not being professional. She's just writing, I want a job. If you just write, I want a job, people won't give you a job. You have to have a proper cover letter, proper CV, and that CV should highlight the skill set and it should be um, friendly with the AI-driven uh, applicant tracking systems. So this is where you have to be very, very careful with how do you apply and what, uh, how do you design your resume. Now, I believe all of this, whatever I said, can be combined together and created as a solution and can be handed over to all of you. And that is what we have done in Watson Global Scholarship, Watson Impact Scholarship for Excellence. That's the name, W-I-S-E. Now, in this scholarship, we are giving you mentoring. We are giving you industry references. We are giving you recommendation letters. We are having five internships. We are having uh, direct access to our coaching system uh, for CSINET, GATE, CVT, and various other entrance exams like GATB and IIT JAM. We also are going to assist you for paper publications and mentoring from global experts, workshops, conferences, um, programming, uh, coding for biology, and um, you know all of this for 12 months, right? And you can get uh, this as four slots. So we have. Watson scholarship running it started 22nd of uh, July, June and it'll go on for some time as long as we don't fill the seats so I'm expecting this to close by 31st of July hopefully so in this particular scholarship there are four slots one is 0% scholarship another is 25% scholarship another is 50% scholarship another is 75% or 80% scholarship and the best guy gets 100% scholarship and in this scholarship I'm giving jobs also to four lucky students who want to do an internship with me in Biotechnica for uh, science journalism and that will be a paid job where we'll be paying you 10,000 rupees as a stipend also for the complete one year. So this is the entire package of Watson scholarship and already a lot of people have started applying. So don't delay. You can always apply. Link is in the description. The foundation of your uh, growth and career in biotech sector is here and that is Watson scholarship. Whatever I just said to you in the video is combined together and compiled as the best scholarship package, which you have, all you have to do is register 
register for a meeting, talk to me face to face, convince me that you are the right candidate for this particular uh, scholarship and I'll award you the scholarship. And of course, you have four slots, so you can choose which slot. Uh, definitely, I'll try to give the best slot for you. But I, let me tell you very, very clearly, the 100% uh, slot will only be given to that person who's highly talented, who really convinces me that that person can do great. And I, no, I'm not looking for, at marks. I'm going to look at the ability to convince me. If you can convince me, definitely you'll get a 100% scholarship. So that's all for uh, Watson Scholarship. That's all for the foundation of your career in biotech sector. Remember, biotech sector is different than other sectors. Other sector, you may not require this kind of a uh, you know, system, but in biotech sector, here is the recipe and the recipe is being given to you as Watson Scholarship. Thank you so much and see you soon as a Watson Scholar. Till then, please take care. Bye-bye.